Hi Trent Kids, it's Becky. It's so lovely of you to join us. Now we're going to continue looking at the book of Acts. Now last week we looked at Peter and this week we're going to look at somebody different. But first, shall we play a game? Now Jenny's put something in this hat and I've got to try and guess what's in this hat. But she's told me I've got to have my eyes closed. I'm going to need your help. So when I pull something out the hat, I want you to shout as loud as you can what is in my hand and you've got to try and help me guess what it is. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, what's this? It's round. Is it a ball? Yes. Got it. The next one. That's how we go. Oh. Oh. Now it's made of plastic. What could it be? Can you shout? <gasps> Is it a cup? Good job. And then next one. Ooh, now this feels like a pencil. But it's got bristles at the end. Can you shout? A paintbrush? Thanks guys. And the last one. Ooh, now this one's a bit tricky. What could this be? Can you shout really loud? No, I don't think I heard you. Again, a duck? Thank you. In today's story, we're going to learn about someone who was very mean to the followers of Jesus. But Jesus showed up and opened his eyes. Let's have a look at the story. This is Saul. Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. And he would even seek to murder them. Saul was uttering threats with every breath, and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way. And as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city, and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up, and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see again. And with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt and he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God, and he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul, as he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day. Wow, what an amazing story. But there were so many changes too, like Saul became Paul, 
and to start off with he was mean but then he was kind at the end and also he wanted to put follow of Jesus into jail but then by the end he loved them that's how amazing Jesus is and he can do the same for us too if we wanted to change no matter what we had done if we ask him he'll do the same just because he loves us shall we worship Listen to me as I pray. Dearest God, day is new. Help me in the things I do. Amen. 